hello and welcome to the Tigre Pup channel. In this video I'll be showing you how I colored and cut this copper brown layered haircut on this lace closure wig. If this interests you then please keep watching. Okay, so here's what the hair is looking like before we begin. Um, what I'm going to do next is go ahead and tease that hair because I want it only it to have like a rooted look. So I tease the hair to get a nice even blend. And um, in some sections I'm going to weave, in other sections I'm going to slice. So it's going to be a mixture because I want to get uh, different tones in the hair. So it's not just one basic monotone, one color throughout basically having dark roots and light ends it's going to have like weaved in dark pieces and light pieces so uh, that's what you see me doing here so I'm just uh, putting it in foil so I won't mess up the pieces that are going to be dark and it's going to go I'm only going to uh, be applied to the pieces I want light Okay, here is what the finished product is looking like. As you can see, there are some pieces that are uncolored and they're left out, and other pieces that are lightened and they are in foils. Okay. 
okay so right here I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm layering the hair I'm starting in the front trying to make sure everything's nice and even um, so it can have like a nice uh, body look so it's not just one length so I've already shampooed the bleach out or the lightener out and now I'm going in and um, I blow the hair out and now I'm going in and try to add to add layers into the hair and making sure I have balance on both sides so that it's nice and even right here you see me going through the top to, just to try to uh, layer the very top so you can have layers throughout just a reminder don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks Okay, right here I'm just showing you all the hair that I lost during the hair cutting session, but uh, it was absolutely necessary in order for me to get those layers in. Okay, so just a reminder to show you what it looked like before, and um, I'm going to up next show you what it looks like after. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the color that I was trying to go for. As you can see, it's a copper red or a red. I would say copper red or copper than red. And as you can see, uh, little dark pieces that are in between there, which is what I got going on here. So I'm going in with my color charm hair color uh, swatch book to try to determine what shade that was. So I decided on these two colors and I'm going to move on from there. Okay, so just to be sure, I'm going in with uh, a strand test. At the root that you see me doing here is the darker color. And at the mid shaft and ends, it's going to be the lighter red copper that I showed you. And uh, we're going to see what happens next. Okay, so this is what the hairs look like looking like while it's processing and here is what it looks like after it's processing it looks pretty good but I decided to add a uh, well of 042 which is warming gold to have more of a copper look okay so right here this is the formula I decided to go with as you can see it's like a red gold and I add a little bit extra gold and on the roots because I wanted the ombre effect as you can see here I use uh, 3WN and 3N which is a dark brown okay as you can see here it's the finished product as you can see my hair is still wet but once it's dry it has like a pink tone uh, I have a little picture at the very top so you can see the comparison of it too much like how that was turning out um, so I was trying to figure out uh, well what did I do wrong was it a not not enough depth because I use a volume 10 for deposit only um, maybe the hair color was too light and maybe I should have went a little bit darker okay so right here I'm going in and I'm going to attempt to do the watercolor method so I got my got to be, got to be uh, this is the gel, and I'm going to apply that on there for a couple of layers, and in between those layers, I'm going to blow dry the the lace because I didn't want to stain the lace. Um, so I saw this online, and I decided to give it a try because, uh, like I said, it was looking pink instead of copper. So uh, this is the process I use. So like I said, uh, maybe like two or three layers, maybe three or four, honestly, so that I won't get my uh, my lace stained. So I'm going in with my French Cognac to add more copper because I felt like it was missing warmth. And I'm going to pour that into the hot uh, water. Make sure I don't burn myself. So kind of squish it around in the bottle. Shake it up to try to get the last remainder out the bottle and pour it in. I'm next going to mix it up together to make sure it's thoroughly uh, emulsified in the water. And then I'm going to dunk the wig in. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm mixing up with my whisk to make sure it's nice and evenly emulsified. And next, I'm going to go in with my wig and leave that in there for a, a second or two, not too very long, because I didn't want it to, like I said, stay in my lace. And I'm going to just watch it 
Um, I think this entire process took me about like 10 minutes to get the shade that I wanted. Um, I lost that footage as far as like uh, the result of this here. Um, but it was uh, much better in tone. And so uh, I did continue with another color afterwards. So we're going to um, talk about that in a second. Okay, ultimately I decided to go with Cajun Spice by Adore and Copper Brown. And um, I was inspired by the looks that I saw on YouTube. As you can see these videos here, it looked like a really nice color. It's kind of looking like the color I was going for. Okay, so right here, now you see me um, applying it to uh, the hair after it's been shampooed. I put it in an uh, applicator bottle for easier uh, application because, like I said, I was mixing the two colors together. And now I'm making sure I'm combing the hair through to make sure it's evenly coated. And uh, making sure I got every uh, inch a strand here so that um, I won't have any sp spots or splotches or whatever they call it Okay, so here is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe learn something in the process. Um, apparently, I may have lightened the hair too much and taken too much pigment out is what I'm thinking. And then when I added the, the demi color, it just wasn't enough uh, underlying pigment to get enough coverage where I came out pink. But anyway, I'm liking the end result. If you're liking it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.